All right. Okay. All right. I'm I'm here. Death, Death grips. grips back online. Presumably. What the hell's going on, guys? Year of the Snitch, the group's last official studio album. I'm, I, I've been pretty sure for a while now that's going to be their last record. I think the fact that we've been hearing so little on the Death Grips front up until now has been proof of that. Because, you know, what's more Death Grips than just, like, disappearing off the fucking face of the earth? Plus, it's not like we've been seeing a whole lot from Zach Hill as of late outside of a cute photo with Freddie Gibbs. And, uh, you know, uh, Andy has been mostly focusing on, like, uh, A2B2 stuff, which is cool. I think A2B2 is badass as fuck and awesome and the performances and the streams are great and, you know, what they do is sort of like an art collective is really neat and really interesting. Uh, Ride, who who the hell knows what's what's going on there? Back in December, we had the photo of Zach passing the gold bar through the door, but that mostly seems to have not panned out into anything. And now we have this video of this, this strobing lights and effects in, in a moth. It's a moth in... It's someone's hands, but it's flying, but it's also like stationary. And one's is this is this a real moth? Is this a Mothman prophecy? What is going on here? I must know. I want to say this. I'm starting to think a little bit that Death Grips is legitimately maybe getting back online, and maybe we will see a comeback of some sort. I think that's significant considering how fucked up the music game is right now the aggression and the explosivity that the trio forged through the 2010s has uh, for a lot of underground and mainstream artists in hip-hop become a bit of a standard and i think uh you know what's really kind of missing is the group that helped usher that in but yeah honestly i think death grips being uh, out of the picture for so long has kind of reminded me of just how much I miss them and what they uniquely bring to the table that no other artist out there at the moment does. Uh, sometimes, you know, something needs to go away for a little bit in order for you to realize how much uh, you need it. So we have Death Grips getting more active online. It's just more of a question of, I guess, when are we actually going to start hearing some new music? In this video, there is a moth. Moth, M-O-T-H, and in the last post that they had on their Instagram was a bar of gold. Now, gold on a, a chemical chart is signified by A-U, A-U, and A-U, if we take A-U or a U, the letter U, and we turn it upside down, we get the letter N. And if we take the N, and we put it in the middle of the moth, we have month, which means maybe Death Grips will put out an album in a month. Tomorrow is Friday, and Zach Hill was recently in a picture with Freddy. Fred, Freddy sounds like Friday. It'll be a month from now Friday. The atomic number of gold is also 79. That's typically the amount of seconds it takes me to decide whether or not I enjoy a Death Grip song. Take the number of tracks on X Military 13, one plus three equals four, add that to 10, then subtract the number of members that Death Grips has, three, 11. I'm an honorary member of Death Grips, so one more, we're back to 10. That means that this new Death Grips project is gonna be a 10. So with that, the new Death Grips project could come out next month or in the next 12 months. So I think we've narrowed it down. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's enough Death Grips video. They're online, internet, good. And um, yeah, you're the best. I believe in you. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Pantano. Death Grips Online uh, forever.